lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle, or like a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks. He says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and you are lovely. My lover belongs to me and I to him. He says to me, set me as a seal on your heart, as a seal on your arm. For stern as death is love, relentless as the netherworld is devotion, its flames are a blazing fire. Deep waters cannot quench love, nor floods sweep it away. The word of the Lord. gift from God is heaven Sarah for our daughter. It's just been amazing. And uh, she lights up a room when she walks in, but she doesn't know it. Um, she's not only a dreamer, but she's a dream uh, chaser, um, seeking out and getting into Northwestern, right? And then um, taking that, you know, passing up that full-time job to go take an internship with Disney, right, in Orlando. Just amazing. So sometimes I think, like, who is this girl? Who is this girl? I mean, she, did, she, um, she it goes up to the plate, swinging away. And, um, and I, I am proud of you. So I'm standing in front of 300 people. I am proud of you. So Brian and Sarah, have you come here uh, to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, I'm going to ask you to face one another and join your hands and declare your consent before God and his church. Brian was loud, he was very confident, and he was sometimes obnoxious. Uh, but beyond that, Brian is warm, he's loyal, and he carries all the qualities of an amazing friend. Although I don't think the term best friend holds up to the amount of love and appreciation I have for you. I, I love you very much, Brian. You know, every time somebody would ask me, how do you feel about Brian, Mary, and Sarah? And um, the first thing that would come to mind would be um, Carl and Debbie and their family. And I, just how wonderful they are and how welcome they are. And it just... There, there was nothing else after that. It's just, it's just, so, it's just wonderful. So I'm so happy for them. Hi, Brian. Take you, Sarah. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You are supportive, compassionate, graceful, generous, and loyal. Your sense of adventure and love for the simple things in life is so pure. You constantly show me how to believe in fairy tales and what it's like to create your own. You're, you're beautiful, you're talented, you're smart, and uh, you keep Brian in check, which he needs from time to time. I, Sarah, take you, Brian. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise 
blessed to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have a way of making everyone around you feel special in their own way, and that is something so unique to the person that you are. All of these qualities and so many more that come to my mind are something you pray for in a best friend. And I know these qualities will make you thrive in marriage and as a wife. There's a saying that says the best use of life is love. The best expression of love is time. And the best time to love is now. So let's get to it. Sarah, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. But I can truly say there's no one in the world I could have handpicked that would be better for Sarah than Brian. You bring out the best in each other, and I've never seen Sarah happier than she is when she's with you. You are goofy, charismatic, faithful, genuine, and have always been just as invested in my life as Sarah is, and I'm very thankful for that. You complement each other in such a special way and are truly the definition of a team. I have no doubt that you will get through anything life might throw your way, as long as you face it together. Brian, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And it is our distinct honor and privilege to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brian and Sarah Williams. And I feel so honored not only to have Sarah as a sister, but to have gained Brian as a brother as well. I love you both more than these words could ever express. So, cheers to you guys. <laughs> May God continue to bless both of you and grant you a life filled with love, laughter, and happiness. And a couple of grandkids for us, okay? And as my father and generations before him said, Salute and Chin Chin! Time never late We do it 